Uh, good morning. Uh, we are now recording also this event. Uh, today we have uh, Anil uh, with us uh, from Talent Spotify. Uh, he is going to talk about uh, finding the right uh, idea. No? So that is uh, the topic for today. So uh, Anil, uh, over to you. Yes. Thanks, Rajiv. Good morning, all. So today's topic is we are just going to talk about selection of right idea before starting any business on this one. That's the key point what we need to see that one. What kind of idea we need to work it out. Uh, see, basically, we will be having a lot of ideas on uh, what to start and what not to start on this one. So this session is at the very initial stage when you are starting a business on this point. And before jumping into the idea part, like, you know, Today, what we are just going to talk about it. First, whether are you an entrepreneur or not? And second thing, how to generate an ideas. And then if you have a generate an ideas, maybe a bunch of ideas, then how to shortlist those ideas. And how do you find out the size growth versus competition? And how it will be working for B2C ideas directly? And how it will work for B2B ideas on this one? So these are the main topics what we are going to talk about it. And before just going into that one, first one, before starting a business, whether it is going to be, should you become an entrepreneur or not? So there are three things on this one. If your objective is to earn money on this one, then see, basically what will happen is this is a one of the reason most of the people are just become want to become an entrepreneur. If their objective is to earn money, then they should not become an entrepreneur. And uh, here, what will happen is your chances of making more money than your regular job are less. You don't know how it will be going to work it out. And uh, this funnel is not about the rising of more money or investment. And it's all about the money while you are running the startup. That's what actually it is going to be work it out. So if your objective is to earn money, then this is not the right place to come up on this one and second thing if you are tired up of your current job like you know for example uh, most of the people are just working on the same old job and they might be just uh, frustrated with their current uh, roles and responsibilities and they are doing a repetitive work and they want to break it down and they want to they will be having a feeling that when i want to start my company and then i can just get rid of this point so if you are just coming up into that kind of a mindset then it is uh, not an you are not an entrepreneur you are at that moment and most important like you know uh, most of the people are just uh, you know want to become an entrepreneur surrounding you and then by seeing them as a peer pressure then you want to become an entrepreneur then that may not be flying on this one to become not to become an entrepreneur. So these are the main three reasons you should not become an entrepreneur. Now let's see that one. What are the three reasons why you should become an entrepreneur? So the main thing, if you have any problem is there, let's take an example, something you think that is a big and meaningful and that needs to be solved. And you're not connected with the outcome or success of that one, but you are just seeing that problem in a very huge way. For example, you want to send a file, a huge file, maybe a 50 MB file, which you need to send it to your friend. You don't have a pen drive. Then the email is not allowing more than 10 MB. Then how do you send it out? This is the kind of a thing that will be coming up. Maybe you might be thinking about your own drive where it will be just uploading into the cloud and then you will start it out. Those are all solutions. But your problem is you want to send a bigger file, like one GB file, where you need to send it to your friend, how you are going to send it out, or maybe a 20 GB file, how do you send it out on this one? So if you have a problem, something you think is a big and meaningful, and that needs to be solved, then that is why actually you can become an entrepreneur. You should become an entrepreneur. Then second thing, you can manage ups and downs of your journey while solving the problem. Like it will be just like uh, more of emotionally and uh, socially, mentally, and as well as financially stable. That's the more important over here. And ups and downs of your journey will not make you to lose calm on this one. So it has to be, it 
you should be very strong on this one when you are starting as a journey to become an entrepreneur on this one so you have to be ready for that one you can manage always your ups and downs of your journey while solving this problem and the most important thing is you have a team that you can work with you so you know a uh, lot of people whomever the people whomever it is committed and skilled to work with you till end of the product at least to reach it to the mvp and then you are bringing it to the market then that is where actually the team is more important if you don't have a good team there is no point if you are just uh, you are, you are alone cannot win the battle on this one so you have to have a people who are committed and skilled on this point okay now these are the three reasons why you should become an entrepreneur on this one now what is the kind of a generation of ideas like you know how the ideas can be coming up on this one see let's take an example if something is happening in the globally and then why can't we just create it into locally for example uh, think about it uh, something is like uh, mcdonalds which is there in the globally on this one mm -hmm. as a food chain restaurant and then started like you know similar kind of a chain you can start it from here locally at this one and then okay. sell it out so whatever it is happening on this one as a bigger ones as a globally then you can just make it applicable into locally at this one and the most important is the next one is net promote mm -hmm. code uh raju can you just put it on mute yeah titi tweet kar raha hai wait wait two minutes wait nahi ban raha yeah just one minute acha ye hand break karte hain ye baat hai ha hand break mein chal raha hai yeah and okay. uh, net yeah the next one is net promote score which is like you know if you are just thinking about 100 people who use your product and how many uh, would like to spread a good word about your product or like you know how many people will spread bad word about it like you know how you are going to be a different from others on this one basis on this one like you know you will be calculating the net positivity about your product and that's where actually it will be coming up as a nps which is nothing but of net promote score it could be a two things on this one one is a bad nps another one is a good nps on this one okay a uh, good nps means receiving a quick delivery for example if you are just doing any app and uh, that app is going to be deliver very quick results on this one something you ordered a food and that is a good experience then uh, it will be a good word of mouth and that app will be recommended to family and friends so that's where actually it will be coming up as a good nps or something like you know if you are just doing as a something uh, related to public toilets you are just making on this one and people will not share that experience with other people right so that's a kind of a bad experience which is kind of a bad nps will be there so you have to think about it your problem and your net promote score how it will be just become that one and look at the businesses that have succeeded in the past and which are not more for example most of the businesses they would have been already started there might be a good ideas and uh, they may not be able to success for example some of the profitable business or whatever it is the reason it is closed because there is a technological shift is happened maybe at that point of time it was right but now it could be a technological lot of uh, technological advance is there so you can pick it up from there where it was failed and why it was failed from there onwards you can pick it up on this one or maybe you can just take it out as a old idea and uh, reimagining re with the current tech and whatever it is the needs which is the current uh, context on this one you can just start work on that one as a new idea on this one so that's how you are going to generate the ideas on this one so you can generate a lot of ideas now we will see that one as a next step how to shortlist that ideas on this one so you have a, I, there are a lot of ideas might be coming up and out of that you have to shortlist how do you shortlist those ideas on this one that we need to see that one so these are the seven steps what you need to follow that one you have a multiple ideas out of that how do you shortlist those ideas on this one so let's assume that one uh, i have three ideas on this one the first idea is all about uh, online business and second idea is about uh, online video editing app okay and the third idea is about uh, corporate office supplies and these are the three ideas so how do i need to shortlist out of these three ideas which one i need to start the business out of that one i can't start three at a same same time right so how do i know that one which one is going to be a profitable and which one is going to be having a market traction at the early stage 
before I just invest the money on this one to jump on that one. So the first point, what you need to do is you have to be, do the first important point is you have to name your startup on this one. Maybe you can just put it as an online classes as like, you know, online, uh, uh, you can say by juice kind of a thing, wherever you want to keep it as that and video editing the app, you can put some other name and corporate office supplies, maybe supply supply cha cha those kind of a things you can just put the name of your startup because the moment you put the name then you are going to be emotionally some sort of connect will be there on this one you can just name that startup on this one and the second thing one line description what your product does that is nothing but a one line description of the problem statement that you are trying to solve for example uh online classes what is that online classes online classes i just want to give you that one how many times it's getting distracted from the people of the content on this one that's what actually my whole problem i'm going to solve it video editing app especially for the video shoot in a dark or low light then how i can just edit into in a good, good and nicer enhanced video share corporate office supplies and how can I just make it as a even zero minimum order quantity on this one because office supplies generally it will be having a minimum order quantity will be there right so in my problem like you know I'm just going to supply to you even though if you have a one item then I can give it to you I can go back and supply to you on this one so these are the things one line of problem statements you have to uh, make it on this one and uh, what is the problem of your idea is going to solve and how it is solving and as well as spending time uh, thinking about that problem that is being solved on this one and third and most important point is creating a logo so the moment you put it as a logo of your idea that when you have already named your startup and then put the logo on this one that where actually your emotional connect to that particular problem statement is, will be much more higher and at the same time you don't need to be an expert to create a logo there are a lot of uh, you know agencies are available online uh, uh, freelancers are available, Fiverr, Upwork, and there are a lot of things are there. So you can just go to the, any Fiverr or Upwork and then you just pay $5 to $10, then the logo will be created. Or you can just use Canva and you can create by yourself as a logo if you are good in that one. Then you have to spend a little amount over here, which is nothing but out. you have to book a domain name and as well as website address. And it is, don't worry about the length of the domain name, whatever it is, it is coming up on this one because end of the day, this is a only a temporary where you are going to use this as to shortlist your idea only. Your objective is whether your idea, what is the traction is coming up on this one, okay? Then you have to create it as a landing page. That's where actually the most uh, people will be just looking into that first phase where I can say that one, for example, in the online, uh, online with classes part, then I will show that point in my landing page. How many are you going to be distracted with your online content? Then use our app. Those kind of a things as a first landing page and video editing app. You can shoot your, you can edit your videos even for the darker, lower light shooted videos also. And corporate office supplies, you can say that one, we will deliver even if you order one pencil. Those kind of a things. Like you can just make it as a nice uh, landing page where you can create it on this one. And what do you want to sell to your customer on this one? That's where actually the whole objective you need to tell that in the first place. And it should be set up in a way that customer relates to the problem. So when I'm saying that one, like even we deliver in a one pencil to your home, that means we are just going to deliver zero order quantity. We will, there is no minimum order quantity. We will deliver it on this one. Similarly, you can say that one uh, low or dark light uh, shooted videos, we can enhance video editing uh, app. You can use it on this one. So you have to tell that one, what is that problem? What you are going to, uh, by seeing that landing phase, customer should be able to understand that one. Okay. And it should be always uh, saying that one, set it up in a, such a way that one customer relates to the problem and you are trying to solve and engage the customers and at the same time don't oversell that part, what you are trying to say and the simple thing where you can say that one if you want to know more details click here for further details you just put it as a one small button and put a form saying that enter for an email address that's enough you don't need to have anything on this one don't ask uh, mobile numbers or all, all these kind of things just ask them what is your email address that's it if you are interested please contact for the demo i put your email address that's it 
for demo and product catalogs, whatever it is, etc. On this one, this is the landing page. What you are supposed to create. Don't create any many pages after that one. Don't bother about that further on this one. Okay. Then the important thing you have to run an online campaign, which is going to be you have to spend a little more amount over here, where it is going to be create a campaign, ad campaign in uh, Google ads or maybe in a Facebook or uh, you can use it in any of these social media campaigns, you can do that. And you just keep it as a budget as minimum as low possible because these campaigns, you can, when you are running these campaigns, you can always keep your budget as minimum as possible on this one. So you can just keep it as a budget, maybe a $5 or maybe $3 maximum per day. And create an ad that's an exciting on this one when seeing that ad where people has to be click on this one that's the way you are supposed to use your creative skills and create an ad on this one and just put it into google because that will be take care of seo and uh, keep it specific some keywords where it will be for uh, facebook and instagram you just something visually appearing on this one you just push that ad here. and you can run this campaign at least for 14 days taking people to your landing page then you have to measure three major important things what is that click throw rate how many people click on your ad that tells how many people are interested in the problem you are solving why willingness of the people to engage the higher ctr is a good sign okay ctr means click throw rate okay then there is something called as a CPC, which is nothing but a cost per click. Cost that you have to pay to the advertising platforms. Maybe it could be a Facebook or it could be Instagram or it could be Google AdSense, whatever it is, it's etc. How expensive it will be for you to get people's attention. The low CPC is a good sign for you on this one. Okay. So these are the three major things on this one, two major things what you need to measure on this one. So what we did. We have just put a name to our idea and then one liner description and we created a domain and created a website and landing page. Then after that, what we did, we just created an ad and then we posted that ad and run the campaign for 14 days in uh, Google and as well as uh, in Facebook. These are all different, different things. We have just posted over all the ways on this one. And you have to see how many people are coming up on this one. The more clicks are coming up on this one, the idea is having some sort of traction over here. Then you can find out with these two measurements of the higher CTR and lower CPC, whichever it is coming up on this one. From there, you can easily shortlist what kind of an idea is there. For example, another simple thing, if you don't want to go all these kind of things, I don't think so. The budget will not exceed more than 5,000 to 10,000 rupees on this one, the entire piece of stuff on this one. Because just uh, registering a domain, hardly it will take it out 500 rupees. And as well as you can run the campaign per day, you can just keep it as a 500 rupees on this one. And 14 days, you run it maximum to 5,000 to 6,000 rupees. That's it. So it is worthwhile. Well, to invest the amount over here because you know what is that like you know how much is the traction of your idea rather than thinking about yourself then you can see that real market sense what it is coming up on that one so that's more important even though if it is a lesser amount the investment is good for here to shortlist on this one and for example the similar one if you don't want to go with all these processes uh, for example you want to start something like as a bike rental agency on this one you want to just make it as a bike rent latest bikes whatever it is available and you want to start through your mobile app and you want to give it as a rent to your students or maybe whomever it is on their locality so you don't need to go and invest on this one what you can do is you just have a bike and then put it into ad in a whatsapp and just pass it to your friends friends and family and see that how many people are coming up as a traction and then if that people are coming up and really you know spending money on this one and all these kind of things you can see the traction over here rather than jumping into the bigger part of registering a company and all these kind of things rather than that you have to do a market study and which is going to give you on this one is a clear sense what is that market is going to come up on this one and how it will be uh, giving you as an idea on this one so it will always helpful for you uh, to give you and this one what you are just actually doing on this one. Now, we are just going to see that one as a size growth competition framework on this one. Okay. Now you have already identified your idea on this one. 
and you have shortlisted out of three ideas, whatever it is, three or four ideas, bunch of ideas, and you have shortlisted idea based on your campaign. Uh, you have conducted an ad campaign, and based on that, your CTC or whatever it is on uh, the click through rates, and you have shortlisted one idea out of that one. Now you need to see that one. How do you going to execute this idea on this one? That's the most important part of that uh, next part on this one. Yes, we can just always see that one in a three to uh, three dimensions on this one, what we are doing, whether it is a size, what is mean by size on this one, whether it can be a bigger size or smaller size <laughs> growth, whether it's a rapid growth, whether it's a rapid growth or a slow growth on this one and competition, whether it's an intense competition, that means more people are doing the same thing or less people are doing the same thing on this one. You have to see that one, whether it's a intense competition or less competition on this one. These are the three dimensions when you are looking into that, when you are shortlisted that idea on this one. For example, take an example on this one. There are anything on this one, it's a two by two matrix and where it is a possible scenarios are eight possible scenarios over here. If you can see that one, there are eight possible scenarios. For example, your size of the part of the business part is very slow, very low size. And as well as growth also, you know that one, it may not be high, the higher growth. And competition is also very less. For example, uh, pet spa, take an example on this one. Pet spa, you cannot find it out as a very, it's not a bigger size on this one. And as well as it may not grow on this one. And also you may find very little pet spas over your localities on this one. So the competition is also less. So in those cases, it's you have to do a bootstrap approach is the recommended approach on this one. That means put your own money and uh, from the business itself, like maybe from yourself or maybe your friends and family, you can just borrow it and then put yourself. And then you have to build the business and show that one there is a revenue is coming up on this one. Then you can, it will grow on this one. And the second one on this one, if the size is very low, if the business size is low and the growth is also low, but heavy competition, this is nothing but a human spot. We can see that one every street we will be having as a one one spa will be there. So there is no point if you are just starting on this one as a startup on this one. It's a better to avoid these kind of a businesses because it is already there. Small and low growth is there and high competition. That means you are low profit. You have to work it out on the low profit margin. And it may not be worth of investing your time. You just need to do a trade off of your path, your situation on this one. It's better to try to avoid these kind of things because the businesses are already there unless until you are completely bringing up a new different dimension on your spa, then only you can just go with that one. Otherwise, it's better to avoid these kind of businesses or these kind of ideas on this one. And there is another one. If the size is very less, but Anil, growth is high. Sorry to low. stop you, Anil. Uh, uh, your slide is not visible. Can you just... Is it still? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it is. It is now. Yeah, yeah, it is visible, right? Yeah. Okay. So another dimension. Again, 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 it went off. Yeah. Yeah. It's going on. Now it is. One second. Just show it. Is... Are you able to see now? Yes. Now it is fine. Okay. Now, take an example of the third one. If the size is low, your business size is low and growth is high and the competition is low. For example, organic food. Most of the people are just, the size is you cannot just make it as a bigger size of this one as a business size wise. And as well as growth, yes, there is an organic food growth will be very high. The business scalability is high, but competition is also low. In this case, again, you can just go with the bootstrap approach on this one. And the next one is, your size is low and as well as growth is very high and as well as competition is also high. For example, uh, robotics. Take an example of robotics on this one. So if something is related to robotics related stuff, if you are doing any technology stuff, if you are doing on this one, then you can do it as a bootstrapping kind of a thing on this one and you can proceed for these kind of a businesses on this one. Whereas there is a high size like you know your size of the business is very high and but growth is very small and competition is also low for example travel insurance yes travel insurance there is a high a heavy size of the market will be there but growth is very low because 
people may not be travel very frequently over here and there and competition is also travel insurance level it's a bit low now it's okay medium size will be coming up on this one in this case also the advisable approach is you can just start bootstrapping on this one and whereas if the business size is high and whereas the growth is low and competition is high for example travel agents you can see that one we can see a lot of travel agencies are there so that is the reason competition is very high in this case and growth size of the market yes a lot of people are traveling especially in summer seasons and wherever holiday seasons are there travel will be happen very high but growth is very low on this one so in this case it's better try to avoid it unless until you come up with the specially kind of a you know unless until you have a something special on your startup like for example you are just conducting an adventurous tours or something like that so those kind of things maybe you can think about it otherwise better to avoid these kind of a ideas on this one and whereas for example size is very high and growth is high but competition is very low for example if you are just working for something like i said defense related stuff you are working for the drones technology or maybe for the defense which can be useful on this one defense and aerospace those kind of things yes size is very high and growth is also phenomenal once it is been success then you probably you can just think about that scalability to global also but competition is very low because the entry barrier is very difficult because when it's, if you are just dealing with the defense or something you have to pass through a lot of policies and procedures on this one so your entry barrier is very low so that is the reason people may not be coming up much more if you are having as a competitive advantage or unfair advantage where you get a license and everything at this point then you can just always and you will get a fine also because it is not a simple thing uh, especially if you are working for these kind of a, a businesses on this one you have to raise the funds you, you need a lot of capital over here and whereas the size of the business is very high and uh, growth is also high and competition is also high the best example is e-commerce businesses anything take amazon flipkart or anything on this one the market size is very high it's a global market size is global and whereas growth is also very high and at the same time the competition is also high so in those cases also you have to raise a funds on this one for these kind of things you may not be able to do a bootstrapping on this one it may not work because you cannot sustain on this bootstrapping part unless until you have to raise a huge capital then only it can be worked out otherwise it will be difficult to go on this one so that's a simple summarizing model of size growth and uh, competition model competition framework of this model and think about it there is a b2c ideas will be there you have a b2c means like you know directly business to customer on this one so for example think about it it's a simple 2 by 2 matrix i'm just taking it as a simple 2 by 2 matrix on this one if you are business is local supply is available and as well as demand is also locally is available then those i will just give you an example those are all just comes under cabs for example locally cabs are available and as well as the demand is also locally on this one so food delivery and these kind of a things will be fall under these category local local kind of a category on this one and the growth will be yes growth will be there but the growth will be restricted to your only local region on this one whereas if your demand is uh, your supply is local and whereas the demand is global let's take an example uh, airbnb so you have a local supply because the units are available on your local places whereas the demand is coming from the global because everybody can book from the website and uh, they can just uh, book any room from your location from across the world so airbnb was one of the example and here this is a quadrant where the chances of growth is bit high on this one and as well as uh, for example tourist places on your local places where you can just uh, have it which is available in local and demand is coming from that people are just coming outside and then they want to just spend some time maybe amusement program parks or something like if you can construct those kind of a things which will be coming under this category whereas the demand is global and supply is local for example e-commerce on this one so people can you know do it from anywhere to anywhere but the local supply will be happen that demand will be just on this one whereas internet based companies on this one you have a global supply and as well as global demand on this one facebook instagram and all these kind of things will be coming up in the content based where it will be coming up on this one so these are all 
different kind of ideas where it will be fit into the quadrant on this one and uh, there is another one which is called as a b2b also what we have seen is the b2c which is nothing but a business to customer here and whereas here business to business here how is that it is going to be coming up it's in two dimensions what we are going to work it out on this one business to business always the two things one is saving cost and another one is growing revenue these are the two things what it is more critical in terms of x axis if you can see that that's the criticality of the business either you have to save the cost or you have to generate the revenue these are the two dimensions whereas demand is local and as well as global on this one for example you are saving a cost on this point and as well as the demand is local which is kind of nothing but of a corporate taxes on this one how this is uh, going to be there on this one for example let's take an example you are just taking on uh, low margins where you are just going to work it out on a low margin and low profits where it is required as a high capital for example if you are just purchasing a taxi which is required as a high capital but it's going to be operating in the low margin which comes under this category on this one whereas if you can see that one uh, saving cost and as well as global demand on this one which is nothing but of saas businesses whichever it is coming up on this particular part for example tech play generally most of the tech players to be there in the market leaders and it's a brand matters and as well as it requires as a recognition in the market on this one if your startup falls under this category you have to be looked into all these kind of things on this one and if you are looking about that uh, growing revenue and the local demand for example local advertisement or maybe if you are just uh, doing as a local newspaper or uh, these kind of a things if you are doing it will be possible high 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 margin only when if the market is very big for you or you have the market share of the local demand then only you can just proceed for this one whereas if your revenue is growing on this one and as well as the global demand is there then google and facebook these kind of advertisement where you can just put it as a product on this one these are the attributes on this one so what we have seen so far is the three main frameworks to pick up the right idea size growth and as well as competition and we have seen that one what is the b2c and as well as b2b critically on this one and here what i can say that one you will not always 100% get a 100% correct answer from those only thing that is important and it's makes yourself is uh, more aware and be ready whatever it is that can be happens on this one these frameworks are only helpful for you with the awareness that is needed before execution of the ideas and uh, as an entrepreneur there are many details you will come across while executing your idea in the real world uncover as many as details before you start working on the idea that's the whole uh, objective of this session on this one whatever we can share that experience and this one and generally what will happen is startups will never fail it's they don't fail the only fail to deliver the expectations you have from it on this one it is always a learning for you on this one every business can be a successful only the expectations you create for yourself and as well as people around you realize what is it that you want to sign up for that one like you know even though if it is a failure don't think that is a failure it's a learning experience startups will never fail on this one so that's all from my side and uh, if you guys or anything on this one it's feel free to open for the discussion and uh, i'm just happy to hear from you all of you on this one if you have anything on this one to share your experiences uh raju you are in mute thank you very much for a very wonderful talk and uh, taking us through the uh, all the devices of uh, the idea uh, and uh, but anil uh, i have a simple question uh, uh, many people uh, you know they need idea validation because uh, uh, they they have lots of ideas but uh, uh, they are not very sure whether this idea will work or not mm. is there is there any way they can get their idea validated what is the best way or is there any organized uh, Uh, place available where they can go and uh, check it out whether uh, you know this is a workable idea or not okay uh 
to be frank on this one the one framework what i said is a seven steps on this one they have to follow that seven steps and that is a real market trend where they can see that one what is the idea because idea to idea it will change mm -hmm. however that framework what i said like you know create yourself as a small logo landing page and try it out in the ads and see that one that is the uh, one portion how right. many people are actually coming up onto you on this one and second thing before you start on this one there are certain organizations are already available i will just give you one of the best one what i felt on this one is adp list mm -hmm. that is a one of the best one where i have seen that is a community this is a good community where mm -hmm. you can just register yourself and then you, there are a lot of product experts will be there and you can relevant to your idea you can just book with an appointment with the expertise and then you can talk to them on this one but again everybody will provide their opinions nobody knows whether the, what is there in your mind and that exactly how you are going to execute in the market on this one right so right. at least these are other things which will help you out in the prepare the ground on this one but the real traction the one framework what i said to you that is going to give you a real picture of market what is that it will be reality definitely don't ask your idea validate with your close friends and families because they will always support you on this one yes, and they will yes. say always good <laughs> so that don't is, even go with them yes that. that is what i was referring to because most of the people fall in this trap they ask mm -hmm. their friends and family and uh, they because they don't want to offend uh, you know, they, don't, <laughs> they don't say much about it but uh, but you need a third party validation uh, uh, one one way of validation is uh, go to startup india list your idea yes. go go to various incubators or uh, accelerators <laughs> and uh, you know discuss with them mm -hmm. you yes. know those those discussions itself you will come to know where we are right so Correct. but but uh, thanks for this uh, the agency you talked about uh i think that is where uh, people uh, fall in trap or they go wrong <laughs> that uh, they don't do much homework on their idea and then later on they uh, tend to face challenges so any other questions yeah. by anyone yeah could you throw some light about asset light and asset heavy model uh see the one example what i have just quoted on that one uh, see for example uh one of the example i have quoted for you in the defense related stuff on this one where it is required says a very heavy capital is required and especially the manufacturing part on this one if i'm not wrong that is where actually your question is that one the more capital where it requires and the less capital what it is required correct me ajish is that yeah, is the one yeah. what you yeah correct? yeah 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 see basically if your idea is relevant to related to some sort of manufacturing okay and uh, some sort where it is requires as a high quality of equipment is required where it is required as a heavy capital is required okay so for those kind of a businesses what i suggest that point is do a much more homework than the regular startup ideas on this one okay because you don't know you know what is that it is required because it is required as a heavy capital for me the best part is do a small prototype with the lower cost and then work it out and then only you just go for the higher ones on this one for those as highest heaviest asset one asset light ones yes wherever the capital is less on this one you can always go with uh, these kind of a approach on this one the one what i have said as a seven step are either of these cases the more less amount you spend on prototype and then go into the market get into the market that will give you as a better visibility of the market what it is there on this one see generally what will happen is most of the ideas entrepreneurs does the mistake is they will think the idea and they don't want to share with anyone because they thought that idea will be leaked and somebody will be copy that idea i am telling you that one the it's a wrong assumption basically so if nobody will not copy your idea because the idea what you have is only with you on this one nobody cannot mimic you on this one yes you have to discuss with as many as people on this one and then see that one what is the options and opinions are coming up on this one and you just note down on that one and you can go with that point approach for the capital ones yes you have to do a small prototype with the lowest price as much as possible on this one and or maybe low working model or at least to visualize the model on this one and then you can just pitch in something on this one and you go and validate your idea for the heavier capital before investing heavier capital on this one and probably in this case you may need to discuss with the suppliers especially because they will be just giving you an idea and as well as your potential customers also so 
So, uh, Anil, uh, Nishant is asking once again, uh, what is the name of the agency you just referred to? Uh, oh, okay. okay. That's the ADP list. ADP will, list, right? Yeah. I will put it in the chat box. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give it to you that one so that yeah. uh, it's. Uh, you can see that ADP list.org. I will mm -hmm. just give it to you in the chat. So right. That, Anybody else yeah. with any question? So Anil, uh, uh, you know, it is uh, very important that uh, after your idea and after the validation of your idea, uh, you you take next steps uh, in a very methodical way, right? So uh, uh, in your experience, uh, is there any validation agency also once you have taken off uh, to, uh, you know, look at your uh, progress uh, on a regular basis? Is there any uh, such agency uh, available? Uh, yes, uh, Raju. Actually, for me, the idea came up around 2020. From mm -hmm. there to now, at least, I would have spoken to maybe 500 plus CHROs and as well as CEOs mm -hmm. over there on this mm -hmm. one to discuss with the ideas on this one. And I have started participating before I don't even till today, I don't have a proper product on this one. Still, mm -hmm. it is not there. My product is still in a premium model and where it is a beta version. Mm -hmm. But still from that point to till now, I'm just wherever it is possible, I'm pitching on this one. Wherever mm -hmm. the opportunity is there, even if it is an investor, beat an investor, beat a customer, whomever it is, including employees. Mm -hmm. I'm just pitching that idea on this one see the reaction and how much people are exciting on this one and they will tell you the you know feedback whatever it is corrections and feedback they will tell you and mm -hmm. you can just blend your approach on this one this is what actually i'm doing last almost uh, like uh, two years i have registered started working actually last nine months onwards mm -hmm. in this one and mm -hmm. nine months last nine months i have just incubated uh, it uh, i am bangalore in nsrcl mm -hmm. and uh, there also i just validated firmly validated my idea and all these kind of the things the complete one Mm -hmm. And of course, I'm just going through these kind of a agencies like ADP list and all these kind of a things. They will mm -hmm. always just give you as a mentor suggestions on this one. Yes, the validation is still continuing on this one. It will continue overall mm -hmm. this one. If that is not going to happen, it is not going to be worked out on this one. Right, right. And it will give you a help you a lot in terms of adding a much more features like what exactly the customers want. Mm -hmm. And that will really helpful for you on this one. What other people are thinking about that idea on this one? That's right. 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 And you, eventually, if you are investing, if it is something good, then you will get a funding also at that moment. Great, great. So there is a hand uh, which has been raised by. Uh, can you introduce yourself and uh, then uh, ask your question? Uh, hi, uh, everyone. Thanks. For the wonderful session, I'm Abhishek uh, Kranja on this side. Your voice is not clear. I have a question. Uh, we talked about a company or various agencies we can which can help us to validate our ideas. Uh, but uh, do we, is it clear now? Hello. You, your your voice was very. Hello. Yeah. Now it is Hello. better. Yeah. Is it ask. is it okay now? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. okay. Uh, I'll I'll introduce myself once again. Your voice is uh, breaking again. Your your your, your I think uh, audio is not very clear. The side. Uh, okay. Then uh, if it is not audible at all, I'll drop my question. Yeah. In the chat. Uh, uh, can you? Last... Put it in the chat window, please. Yeah. Um, yeah, can you type your question in chat window so that we can see that? Okay. Yeah, sure, sure. I'll share. Thank you. Sure. Thanks. Okay, uh, Anil, uh, I think he was having a very, very bad network. So yeah. maybe that's the reason. So uh, moving on, uh, uh, you know, what do you think, uh, uh, you know, when uh, uh, 
the I, this is relating to IPR a bit, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, mm -hmm. since you have already uh, gone through all this uh, mm -hmm. setting up of, uh, the, you, you know, you rightly said that people have a fear of, uh, uh, you know, uh, losing their idea and it goes, uh, you know, uh, but uh, do you think the patenting the idea or uh, registering an IPR helps in taking out that fear? See, basically, IPRs, from my understanding in India on this point, yes, it's better to have it as a register in IPR, to keep it as an IP rights in terms of showing it to the venture capitalist. But, you know, securing your idea for the IPR is, may not be a right idea for that. If you are going for the IPR, mm -hmm. it may not work it out because our IP part is... Uh, like, you know, you never know who is working on this one. By the time, if you are going to, they're going to identify that one, that uh, product is similar to your product and they copied on this one. And when you are putting a file, a case on this one, if you have that patience on the, enough on this one mm -hmm. to go with that, then you just book it for that one. But yes, book, for, book it for IP rights, especially in terms of a funding perspective. Yes, they will see that one. How many IP rights you have on this one? That is where actually... In that perspective, yes, you can book it on this it, one. But it, it, it not for securing idea. Yeah, yes, it not securing anything. Correct, correct, correct. And at the same time, this is applicable only within India. For my understanding, is the IPR part, there is two things will be there. One is locally and then the one is the global ones. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So better to apply for anything is there. Apply for local. Global is a bit expensive on this one. There is no point to product on this one. Is nobody can add. Somebody copied in some... Uh, whichever island on this one so you never know on this one so better do it in the local registration on this one and i prefer to do it for uh, trademarks also because mm -hmm. if you have anything on this one for example uh, see for my company name is talent spotify okay mm -hmm. so i just booked it as a trademark because at any point of time i may have a threat from spotify mm -hmm. so because spotify is a music company which is a completely different classification altogether i am doing in a something in the it related stuff of course these two are two different things but there could be a possibility tomorrow anybody can just come up as a spotify word you have used it on this one right? right so that's the reason i just booked it as a trademark well in advance because trademark generally it will take it out the moment you put it as a trademark it will take it approximately initial first one week you can just put it as a tm and right. uh, after that at least it will take 8 to 24 months. It will take it out as a, you get a registered trademark. On absolutely, this one. absolutely. So better if you can register it, better to keep it on this one to secure yourself on that. Absolutely. So the question which uh, this gentleman was trying to ask is, uh, uh, is there any agency which help us to validate the idea in terms of budgets and financial prospects? See, there are a lot of incubation centers are available on this one. If your idea, and they will consider at the ideation stage itself. Mm -hmm. Most of the incubation centers, they will consider, some of them are considered as ideation stage. And once you join the incubations and they will help you out in terms of validations. There are a lot of incubations. For example, uh, take an IMB and SRCN, or that is a dedicated ones. And mm -hmm. another one is Vadwani Foundations. And there are a lot of other uh, agencies. Uh, there are a lot of things available. Just go to startup uh, startupindia.com and mm -hmm. you can see that one. There are a lot of incubations and they will always asking for the applications on this one. And just go and apply. There is the, nothing there. You don't need to spend any money on this one. You just simply apply it and just be part of the incubation center. And, and let me tell you, there is a grant budget of uh, uh, 20 lakhs, uh, which is there yes. with all these incubation centers. Uh, right. normally they give grant between 10 lakhs to 20 lakhs normally uh, you know uh, depending on uh, your uh, what particulars you submit to them so that's Correct. the very best way of uh, you know validating yeah. your idea because if uh, you get through them and you are able to actually tell them that uh, this is my project this is my idea and this is how I want to uh, you know and if they sanction you the grant that itself is a very big validation of yes. your idea you know? so so that uh, uh, because their process is very robust i have okay. been de dealing with uh, lots of them okay. so so uh, i think uh, uh, every meeting you will get a, a validation <laughs> from all your idea so and as anil mentioned uh, talk to as many people as you can especially the user tribe so whatever project you have uh, you select your uh, who will be your users and then start talking to them i think that is uh, one of the other other way of uh, finding validation to your idea
fine uh, thank you that was really helpful. yeah i think thank you're you. yeah thanks thanks thank you very much anil any any uh, uh, winding up comments from you no nothing if you have any other ideas on this point if you want to validate probably in our group also you like you can post it out either rajiv or myself or anybody can help you out in terms of a validating perspective yeah. so that this community also you can use it to leverage that point absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah yeah one more question like yes, suppose Ajish. yeah suppose uh, in a construction industry suppose uh, if a mm -hmm. person is want to construct and give it for rent like mm -hmm. ideally we'll have a prototype it is a capital intensive business correct, so in this correct. case how, how should we go about validating it uh see you have a model houses generally will be there right for the model flats and model uh, kind of a thing will yeah, be yeah. there so that kind of investment at least it has to be done on this one for example if you can uh, see that one prestige group and all these kind of the things they will always book uh, you know build a model flats at least yes 3d printing as yes, that is a one of the options sorry not 3d printing you can see that one is a visualization vr and all these kind of things yes it can be possible on this one but customers will see that physically on this one right especially for when it is coming to the flats people wants to visit physically on this one right so when it is coming up at least model flat has to be there on this one for those kind of things which is not my understanding because that will create a lot of impression that's going to be a validation on this point it will create it and uh, because i have seen most of the customers most of the construction industries without a more you know model flats they will not step into the business on this one they will build at least one model flat on this one at least and design perspective yes you can just do it as a vr kind of a thing or maybe like you know 3d kind of a thing at least that kind of a capital is required without capital these model parts is a bit difficult and this one to believe the customer to come up on this what do you say rajiv on that yeah yeah i i agree with you uh, because uh, uh, you know you you have to look at the large perspective rather than uh, you know and uh, then of course uh, the more people you talk to the more customer you talk to you will definitely get the validation thank you thank you so thank you very much everyone i think we had a good, good session today and uh, we we yeah. will uh, now switch to uh, uh, zoom only yeah. and uh, uh, maybe we'll have better participation and uh, uh, today we are live on facebook also so i think no. uh, that will help uh, all of us thank you so much thank you thank you and thank please you. refer refer people to the community if uh, you your friends uh make them uh, uh you know uh, join our group and you know uh, the whatsapp group is also there you can send me a message i can add them to uh, the community and uh, uh sorry we we didn't uh, know your name uh, this uh, samsung or something <laughs> you know so uh, you also please uh, send me a message on my chat window and uh, we will uh, you know add you abhishek Yes, so Abhishek, uh, I'll share my mobile number. Uh, we can, uh, uh, you know, get in touch with me at, uh, uh, and we can we can have a discussion on uh, this. All right, Ranil, well, uh, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for a very uh, elaborate, uh, you know, covering of this very important topic. And uh, I'm sure all of us uh, gained uh, from this. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye bye. Bye bye.